Hi, my name is Mike Mayo and today I'm just going to demonstrate for you the Image Filters package which is a, a package you can download for Weka using the uh, Package Manager. And what the Image Filters package does is let you uh, convert images into features so that you can run image classification experiments. And then you can do exciting things like uh, face recognition, scene recognition, and maybe even uh, object detection. So what, what I'll do is just go over um, what the image filters package does in this lesson and give a quick demo. So what is an image feature? Basically it's a measurement concerning an image. So in this example there's a couple of uh, images. One is a sunflower, one is a tree, and uh, the measurements that we're taking from the image are to do with things like such as color and brightness and shape. So both of those images uh, vary quite a bit in terms of uh, those four different measurements. And once we calculate those measurements we can put them together into a feature vector and then we can use Weka's standard machine learning algorithms to do some uh, image experiments and see if we can classify different types of images. So the first thing you need to do when you want to run an image classification experiment is get a whole lot of images. For the image filters to work they all need to be in one directory. So here I've got um, an example of a data set. It's basically a, a collection of monarch butterfly images and uh, owl images and we can see that they're pretty easy to distinguish. Uh, monarch butterflies are mostly orange and black, um, owls are mostly white. So once you have your directory of images you need to create an ARF file and the R file is um, just like the normal R files you've been using so far. Uh, the only difference is that it only contains two attributes and one of them is a string. Okay, So the first attribute, which is the string, uh, has, to be, has to contain the file name, names of the images. And the second attribute contains the class. So here on the left I've got an example um, of such a, a data set. And you can see that it's pretty straightforward. There's um, the two attributes are there. The first one is the file name, the second one is the class. And when we apply the filters, all the filters are going to do is add further attributes to the data set. And in all the cases, they're numeric attributes. And so the example on the right shows a very simple filter that adds three numeric values to the, to the data set. Now I've got Weka open, and uh, I've opened that R file to have a look at. Uh, you can see that there's two attributes here, the file name which is a string so there's no useful information about it here and the uh, class which is a nominal attribute which is shown here. You can see that the two labels and you can see that there's two uh, two classes and they're both both sort of uh, equal frequency so there's 50 examples of each in this data set. I now want to apply the filter and if you've installed uh, the image, pack, image filters package, then uh, this all the filters should be available under unsupervised instance um, image filter. Okay, so if you've got installed the package correctly, you should have this directory here, which you can then open to get all of these filters. So all you do is select one. And the, uh, so I'm going to choose the color layout filter, and there's a minus D option here. That simply refers to the directory that contains all the images. So I'm going to put the image directory in here and once I've done that I can now apply the filter and it'll go away and process all the images. So Weka is reading in all those images and extracting all the features and after a few moments it's done and we can see that um, there's a whole lot of additional features that have been added to the data set and they're all numeric. And if you go down here we can see that there's uh, 33 in total and the class label is still there. So in order to run a classification experiment or well, after running the filter the first thing we have to do is remove the file name attribute because that's a string and that will cause problems for many different classifiers so I'm going to remove it. I can then switch over to the classify tab. I can open that and I can find uh, a classifier, so I'll use J48 just for fun. 
click start and then we can see that uh, Weka correctly classified all those images 90% of the time. So that's pretty good accuracy. It is possible to apply more than one filter in sequence to your images. Uh, if you want to do that, all you need to do is uh, repeatedly apply different filters to the data set. So I'll give you a quick example of that. I'll click undo just to get the file name attribute back because we can need to know the file what the file names are. I'll then choose a different filter. So this, uh, for this example, I'll choose the edge histogram as the second set of features. Again, I just set the directory. I click apply and we wait to see what happens. Okay, the features are there now. Um, we can see that they've got a different name. These are each histogram features. If we scroll down, we can see there's a lot of them, 80 in total, and they've been inserted before the color layout features. So the old color layout features are still there. Um, the class is still at the end, uh, but we have a lot more features this time. So again, I will remove the file name attribute switch to classify, run exactly the same experiment again and uh, this time interestingly uh, Weka does slightly less so it gets 88% this time compared to 90% last time and that means that adding those additional edge histogram features has in fact uh, decreased the accuracy a little bit and that probably makes sense uh, if you think about it because clearly the main differentiating feature between these two classes monarch butterfly and owl is color okay so the the size and direction of edges is probably doesn't provide that much information so clearly um, in, in this case only the edge features haven't been very useful and that's a quick rundown of the uh, image filters package. I've put a summary of the steps there. Uh, if you want to if, if you want to try that package out um, and do some experiments with your own images. Um, it's really straightforward to use and uh, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you.